I want to assure the people of Kenya that tomorrow, Kenyans should go to work and open their businesses. The government has made elaborate and adequate arrangements to protect life and property. The government has a constitutional mandate to protect life and property of the rich and the powerful. Equally, the same government has an obligation to protect the life and property of ordinary Kenyans, property being destroyed and the instigation of the rich and the powerful. The government will protect both the rich and the powerful and also the ordinary Kenyans. And we want to ask those rich and powerful people to know that getting property is a difficult thing. They may demean these small people because their property is nothing to them. But it's a hard-worn sweat. They should respect the property of the ordinary Kenyans. So as you plan your demonstration tomorrow, as you plan to destroy property, know that the government will protect life and property tomorrow in Nairobi and in other towns. And if you check, you people of the media, I have seen you carry a lot of narrative on property of the rich, which is also okay, because they too require protection, and they must be protected. And nobody should destroy anybody's property, whether you are rich or ordinary. But I also want you to take time to tell us the story of the church that was burned in Kibra. Tell us the story of the mosque that was destroyed in Kibra. Tell us about the supermarket whose goods for 20 million were looted. You guys of the press are quiet when the property of ordinary people is being looted and destroyed. But when something for an, one single ordinary rich person is touched, you are all over the place. We are saying you should cover both. Nobody should destroy property, either from the rich or the poor. All property must be protected. But you want to see fairness. Tell the people of Kenya all the story of the supermarket that lost 20 million. Tell that story. Go and interview the people at the mosque and tell the story. Go and interview the people who built that church from scratch to tell you the story. So that you also tell the people of Kenya. Go to Yamakema, go to Gikomba and interview the people who have lost business because of Raila Odinga and tell the story. Don't be one-sided. Don't be one-sided. Nikimalizia Ningataka kuambia wa viongozi wa azimeo Wawachana na sisi Na wawachana na viongozi hapa ya mulima Kenya Nimeona wanataka kuingilia kiongozi wetu kibani ichongwa Ndiye denyoro Mimi wamenizo ya Na mimi hakuna pali wanaiza kunipeleka Mimi am not even there And if they want to know who ya wauliza uru kenyata Anatujua vizuri Anatujua You know they try to fight us when he was president, it was not possible. I don't know how you can fight us when you're out of government. I want to say, Ningataa kuambia watu ya azimio, that munatumiwa kupigana na viongozi wa Mount Kenya. The previous administration under Uhuru Kenyatta destroyed all leaders from this region. The outgoing president did not want any single leader to emerge in this region. Kiongozi alikuwa kitoa kichwa wanagonga. Sasa naona wameambia watu ya azimio. Ati wampiwa huyu Kimani Ichongwa. Kimani Ichongwa is a leader in this region who is respected. Who has a good brain and focus. And who has a future for this region. And vile walishindu wa kutupiga saa hiyo. Mungu wakatusaidia tukakuja juu. Hawa hawa wametumu watu ya azimio to try to destroy the future of our leader Kimani Ichongwa katika area hii. I want to tell Honorable Kimani Ichongwa to remain steadfast and to remain firm. And Kimani Ichongwa as a second senior most leader after me in this region you have a responsibility to unite all the political leadership with this area and defend 
the economic interests of the people of this region without fear.